They're mathletes. We're going to learn how to solve uh, any angle pattern. You don't need to know the name of them. There are videos I've made on how to name these angles without memorizing, uh, using the meaning of their name. But let's say you have an angle up here and an angle down here. Now, we should know this one because we should always know first what corresponding angles are. What I had shown in another video is if I draw a circle here and a circle here with the vertice, vertices as the center, I notice that the bottom right is where x is. And on this other line, the bottom right is where 100 is. So x is going to equal 100 because corresponding angles are equal. They're in the same angle position on a dropping down or up, going up one line. So because we know corresponding angles, if you remember corresponding angles, we're going to be able to solve any other combination. So let's try another one with corresponding angles. Um, let me move this over so it's centered. So let's say you have this angle is uh, x here, and this one is 60. Then again, if we drew a circle in the middle, it's the bottom left that has the position of x. So if I drew a circle here, corresponding is the bottom left also. So these are corresponding, they are congruent, which means they are equal. So x is equal to 60. So to solve every other type of these problems, we're going to need to know two things and remember two things that we learned so far. What is a linear pair? A linear pair is a line with a pair of angles. And we learn that A plus B will equal 180 because a linear pair adds up to 180. So again, I like to use the circle in the vertex. And it kind of shows you that that line is cutting off half of a circle, which we know is 180 degrees. So A plus B will equal 180 degrees. If I know this one's 100 and this one we don't know, when you add them, they must add up to 180. So x will equal 80. So linear pairs are definitely going to help us. And the other thing will be vertical angles that most of you should know by now. So vertical angles are when you have two straight lines the angles across from each other, like here and here, are called vertical. They are congruent. They are a reflection. You flip them over and they are the same. You can use tracing paper to see that. But they are also left and right. There are vertical angles. Um, so vertical angles are equal. If you know this is 100, then x equals 100. If this is 80, then y equals 80, because they have to be equal. Vertical angles are congruent or equal. But what you also notice is we have a linear pair. Every blue and yellow one makes a straight line or half a circle, a linear pair. Here on top, blue and yellow, linear pair. Um, so linear pairs are formed in, in these lines, as well as vertical angles. So let's get to the solving. It's going to make your life so much easier doing it this way. We can start with some simple ones, and this will work even in the more complicated and even the ones with algebra. Some of you who memorize will know that these are alternate interior angles. So you might know how to set them up already based on memorizing. If you are not memorizing and using this easy method, we're going to do first, we're going to fill in the corresponding angles. So when we fill in the corresponding angles, um, it's going to help us to then analyze whether we have vertical angles or a linear pair next. So let me type this out here. Instead of writing, my pen's acting a bit strange. So first step is we're going to check for corresponding. second thing we're going to do when we're done is we're going to look for those two things we just mentioned. We're going to look for vertical angles. We'll set them equal. Or if you see a linear pair, we're going to add and set to 180. So the first one we see here's 60. Fill in the corresponding. So if this is the top right, 
corresponding will be here in the top right. Now you can see we have vertical angles, so x will equal 60. Very simple. Let's try another one. So let's say uh, this is the one a lot of students get wrong. So here's an x and here's an 80. Again, we're going to use the one we know. And we're going to look at that 80 and notice it's the top right. So up here, the top right will be 80 because it's corresponding. Now we should notice that x and 80 are a linear pair. It's, it's sideways the way we normally see it, but it would look like this if we changed it. Uh, it would have you know, x and 80. This is a linear pair. So x plus 80 makes 180. x will equal 100. So when they're a linear pair, we add them and set them to 180. Let's try one more uh, of the simpler ones, and we'll do a few with algebra as well. So we don't re really even need to know the names of these. Uh, we don't need to memorize either. We could just use these three steps. Um, maybe we have here 60, and here we have x. So let's use the one we're familiar with, 60. We know that one. It's on the top right of the circle. So up here, a, a corresponding angle would be 60. So x and 60 are a linear pair. So x will equal 120. Let's look at an algebra version. Let me just delete this rather than starting a new page. So now let's say that the we, we add a little bit of algebra into it. So let's say x plus 10, and over here there's uh, 100 degrees. So again, we're going to take the one we're, we're familiar with that we know is 100. It's on the bottom left of the circle. So we're going to go up here on the bottom left and put in 100. You can now see that these are vertical angle. x plus 10 equals 100 degrees. We then need to know how to solve the algebra portion to get x alone. x is going to equal 90. So this is, again, going to work over and over again with whatever combination we get, even if it's not one of the patterns we learned. Um, we can still solve, knowing one angle, we can fill in all the angles. So if you knew this was you know, 70, corresponding would be here, 70, top right. We could fill in the vertical 70, 70. We now know four of them. We also know here and here are linear pairs, so this would be 110. And vertical here would be 110. So the same thing here. Linear pair is 110. The vertical is 110. Knowing one of them will allow you to know all the other seven. So let's put some algebra in it and solve another algebra problem. Difficulty level just a little bit and we will use only algebra. So now there's, there's no one single angle that we know. However, since x plus 70 is on the top right, I know a corresponding angle will be x plus 70 up here. So now I can see they are vertical angles. We will set them equal. 2x plus 10 equals x plus 70. And we will get x alone, solve for x. So we would subtract on both sides. 2x plus 10 equals 70. And we will subtract both sides by 10. 2x equals 60. x equals 30. So this is a strategy that will work no matter where the angles are placed and whether we have algebra or just um, an angle measurement to work with. So let's do one last one uh, that's going to end up one of the ones I think students had the most trouble before we started using this method. A lot of times when they have comp supplementary angles, the ones that add up to 180, they tend to, to miss it. So let's say you're working with the angle here.
And so a lot of times students just always want to set things equal to each other. They don't want to think about what's happening. So let's think about what's happening and why we don't set these equal. X plus 10 is on the top right of the circle. So up on the top right, we write in X plus 10. Now we analyze this and see the linear pair. These two here and here are a linear pair. Therefore, we know X plus 10, the one angle, plus the other one, 2X minus 10, equals 180, because a linear pair will always be equal to 180 degrees. Now we collect like terms. I made it simple to solve. So x plus 2x is 3x. 10 minus 10 is 0. And we simply finish solving the algebra. So don't forget, if we want the actual angle measure, we have to plug 60 in for x. x would be uh, 60, so 60 plus 10 is 70 degrees for that angle on the bottom. So hopefully this strategy helps many of us uh, better understand how to solve these, even if we don't know the names of the patterns.